It's not very often that I get frustrated about something like this, but I would say arguably one of the biggest pieces of BS when it comes down to fiber is the fact that fiber is just energy that we poop out. The reason that fiber is beneficial is because it's food volume and it just keeps us satiated. I don't buy it. I mean, sure it is food volume, sure it is bulk, and sure it probably fills us up a little bit that way, but then there's also the other side of the equation where people just say, oh, well, the only reason fiber is beneficial is because the calories that you get from fiber, you just poop out. Where there's literature that came out in 2023 that talks about this, that kind of makes this a moot point. We're gonna break it down because this myth is just total BS. I put a link down below for seed. If you're focused on gut health, then you've probably considered taking a probiotic. That is a 25% off link for the probiotic that I recommend. They are a sponsor on this channel, but they're also the only probiotic that I would honestly stand behind just because they conduct the research, they know what they're doing, they fund a lot of research, the technology is very cutting edge. It has a capsule inside of a capsule. You've probably seen me talk about them a lot on my channel. So if you're focused on your gut, if you're focused on fiber, it's probably something that you should consider. Now's a good time because that link saves you 25% off. So 25% off your daily symbiotic from Seed. You can help support a company that's funding a lot of research, working on the gut-brain axis, doing all kinds of cool stuff. Anyhow, that link down below, top line of the description. In order to describe this before I talk about the paper at all, I have to kind of give you somewhat of a visual metaphor. And it's not gonna be scientifically perfect and accurate, but it illustrates the point quite well. And I've talked about it in other videos. Let's pretend for a second that you're sitting down at the dinner table and you have a thousand pet squirrels. You've got this beautiful like plate with a ribeye and some broccoli and some bok choy and some fruit and you're just about to enjoy it, but you've got these thousand squirrels. So you throw a little bit of your food to the squirrels and next thing you know, you're left with a little bit less food. You're gonna have less calories, right? Well, that's what we see. And in this study that came out in 2023, we learned that even though you do lose extra calories through your poop when you have a high fiber diet, a lot more of the energy that you consume is going to the microbes themselves, the host microbes, and less energy going to the actual host, you. So in your case, you are hosting a thousand squirrels and you give a little bit of your food to those microbes or those thousand squirrels, and that means a little bit less for you as the host. And that's what seems to happen with fiber. Because the calories are essentially fueling some of the gut microbiome, that's less calories that contribute to you as the host, but it doesn't seem to affect your energy output, it just affects your net energy balance. Now, a very important thing to understand is that when these squirrels poop, that poop gives you a little bit of energy too. Now, what I mean by that is when you feed these microbes, they might poop out short chain fatty acids. And short chain fatty acids aren't just a magical signaling molecule that magically does things independent of energy balance. These short chain fatty acids fuel enterocytes. They fuel various things in the body. They fuel various cells and they absolutely contribute to energy balance. And what that means is that if you were to take microbe poop and put it in what's called a bomb calorimeter, it would equate to something. It would give you some energy in a closed thermodynamic system. Now, how that applies to a human, we couldn't give you an exact number. We can't quantify an exact number. But what we do know is that the calories you get from fiber, the fiber itself through the fermentation, maybe not the calories, but the fermentation does contribute to energy balance. This is very complicated, right? What do I mean? It means the biggest myth, the biggest piece of BS that's out there with fiber is that fiber is only bulk and is only satiating you because it's bulk and it's only helping you lose calories because you're pooping the calories out. No, it's helping you reduce your metabolized energy because a percentage of the energy that you are taking in is feeding the gut bacteria, which are then providing energy in a different direction. So it's complicated, but to say that fiber is just fiber is very naive. It helps our gut microbiome produce signaling devices that contribute to energy balance. So what does this mean for you? Well, there was the study in 2023 that looked at a Western diet versus a microbiome enhancing diet. 
And the microbiome enhancing diet versus that, that diet, even though the calories were the exact same, literal exact same, the microbiome enhancing diet ended up metabolizing 116 less calories because that 116 calories was lost between the microbiome and the fecal biomass. So by simply eating larger amounts of whole foods and eating larger amounts of fiber, you will literally absorb less calories as metabolized energy, not to mention possibly having a little bit more satiety from the bulk of the fiber. The reason that I don't subscribe to fiber being just bulk and that's why you feel satiated is because think about it. If I were to consume just a couple tablespoons of psyllium husk, that's like a bunch of pure fiber, but that's not a lot of food volume. So like I would still be hungry if I just ate a couple tablespoons of psyllium husk, but it's feeding my gut. So it's actually contributing to energy in different ways. So I don't need to eat more calories, not to mention increasing glucagon like peptide one, PYY, PP, all these other hormones and enteroendocrine hormones. The bottom line with this, in case you're trying to get the point, is if you're eating 20 grams of fiber, eat 25. If you're eating 25 grams of fiber, eat 30. I challenge you to increase your fiber five grams per week until you get to a point where you feel very uncomfortable or you feel like it's not something that's gonna work for you. I would set your upper limit at 50, no need to go above that, and see what happens to your caloric intake overall and see what happens to your body composition. As always, I'll see you tomorrow.